video, I'm going to show you how to trace a background image. In this case, I'm going to be tracing some words. So if you go to settings and add image, and I'm going to choose uh, resizable image. If you just choose background image, your image will size itself to your quilt grid size, which um, will skew it if it's not exactly the same ratio. So I'm going to choose resizable image. I'm going to browse to the image that I want, which is on my desktop. There it is. And click OK. Now I can choose this. I can just uh, rotate it, make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to trace. And then I'm going to go into my draw tool and scroll down to create, choose line, and then begin. A left click sets a, an anchor point. So I'm going to just choose a few points here. And I'll show you how this works. And we'll do the A first. I'll say done. Now I can select the line that I've created and I can smooth it out. And the way I like to do that is I right click on that line and turn it into a curve. That way I can make it a curve just like that. Right click. That one looks actually pretty straight. This one I might turn into a curve a little bit more. Just like that. And just play with this until you get it to where you want it. And that I just, um, I right clicked on that anchor point just because I wanted to delete it. I figured I could get a smoother curve just using these handles there. Curve. And you can see how I'm just adjusting it just to match this written character. And then when I'm done, I can stitch it uh, just in a standard stitch. Or if I have path apply, which I do, I could add a little triple bean stitch or um, a large bean stitch and stitch it out so it looks a little bit fancier. But that's how you trace um, a background image to use as a pattern.